Hello and welcome to Multiverse Tarot. Happy New Year, Pisces. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed your holidays and that you're ready for the new year. This is the January 2018 Pisces Horoscope and Tarot Card Reading. This is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This month, I'm doing a slightly different format and there will be more tarot cards pulled. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. There's some really great new stuff coming in the new year. And as some of you have asked, I am using the Rider Waite deck of tarot cards. Okay, so what does this new year have in store? January 1st, there's a full moon happening in your fifth house of romance, drama, and creativity. Expect to feel at home when you are being creative at this time. If you are already coupled romantically, this could be a time that tests whether your love is true. But however, if love is true, you should have nothing to fear. For those of you who are single, look for this time to bring you a new romance. The full moon in the fifth is also shining a light on your own happiness. You might not have as much fun and games in your life as you used to because you are feeling the pressure and the demands of your larger goals. For others of you, this could be a time when you are growing your business. Okay, let's pull a card for this, for the full moon, for Pisces in the fifth house. And we have the Hierophant. Okay. It is important that you are tapping into your own wisdom and the wisdom that has been passed on to you from other people, okay? You need to, and this is in regards to your romance, okay? You need to see what it is that you really want in a relationship. And maybe you're not pouring into the, the time because other things are pulling your attention away from it. This is also telling us that there could be an outside influence that helps you patch things up when you have a little bit of a spat with your current relationship. And if that goes down, the person that you are in the hands of is very wise and they have a lot to offer, even though you may feel some resistance to them at first. Understand that it's in your best interest to listen to this inner voice or to listen to this authority figure because they have a means to help you patch up or you inside yourself have a way of patching up and fixing your relationship at this time. All right, January 12th, Mercury is on the move. After being retrograde last month, this energy will be much lighter. It is moving forward in your 11th house of friendships, groups, and networking. Look for awareness of life in general to be expanded through friendships and group contacts. You want to discuss your ideas with like-minded people at this time. You are searching for people to add to your tribe, or maybe you are figuring out who your tribe is. The negative expression could come out as trouble communicating or trouble being understood in a group environment, or you may look for a group or team to do your thinking for you. But what you want is improvement and advancement in your own social standing. Okay, so now let's pull a card for Mercury joining the 11th house for Pisces. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands card. You're going to feel the best when you are plugged in and operating within a group mentality. It's time to look for like-minded people, to look where do you actually fit in and what is it that makes you unique. And maybe there are other people who are into that same thing that, you know, maybe you're into, I don't know, something like some, some sort of video game and you're going to find a whole community of people who spend time playing and operating in this video game and they have a lot to offer and you just want to talk and talk and talk and talk. But it could be in any arena of life, something that's going to come up and fascinate you and you're going to be plugging into the group mind. Make sure that you still keep your own identity. Okay. 
January 16th, add one more celestial body to your 11th house. The new moon is happening in the 11th house as well, joining all those other celestial bodies already there. Pluto, Saturn, the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and now the moon too. This is bringing a spotlight to a new aspect of the energy that we were just discussing. But this is asking you to look at what do you dream of? What are your wishes for the future in regards to yourself and in regards to the team and groups that you are part of? This theme is here to stay for at least two and a half years till Saturn transits out of it. Um, Pluto will be remaining here for 10 plus more years, I believe. Um, and the new moon in the 11th house, they're seeking security and comfort and a true sense of belonging through groups and friends. You may just be realizing that you want more friends. Um, put out your intention in the right way. I want friends that are into science, that know about JPL so I can learn more. This is just an example of the energy I'm talking about. So put whatever you're going to put out at this time are the type of friends and groups that are going to come back to you. Okay, now let's pull a card for the new moon in the 11th house for Pisces. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups card. You are going to look and scour the world for the place that you fit in, for the place that you can become a part of. And some of them are better choices than others. Even though the people may have like-minded ideas, they're going to have techniques of brainwashing. So it's important that you keep your own self-identity as you plug into these different groups. And maybe it's, there's multiple groups that you're plugging into. And you really want to have an exchange of ideas with these people. And you're going to look to be plugged into this group, I would think, for at least two and a half years based off these alignments. Okay. January 18th, Venus is moving into your 12th house of completions and hidden agendas and the metaphysical. Venus in the 12th is an urge to transcend separateness and merge with something greater than yourself. Give in to the urge to abandon the self, let go, and merge with the divine. You are looking for total fulfillment at this time. Venus in the 12th house intimates that you may be going through some pain or suffering associated with love or a broken heart at this time. For some of you, this is a time when you will be spending a little bit of time in the hospital, probably visiting somebody else or as a volunteer to administer to those less fortunate, but it could possibly be for the less unfortunate you yourself are in the hospital from some, I don't think this is telling us anything major. This is Venus. This is about you we, in the 12th house. You want to be of service to others and reaching out to others. Okay, so... Let's pull a card for Venus, moving into the 12th house. Okay, we have the chariot card. It's time to put your money where your mouth is and to get things moving and to go on and do that. Take that time and donate that time to charity. And, you know, uh, it could also be plugging in and spending more time with your spiritual group and, you know, giving a little bit of your time back to the church, um, maybe giving a little bit of money to the church or to some group that you know is going to utilize that money to the fullest, okay? And there's also the possibility that some kind of a secret is revealed and the secret or hidden agenda is going to mess with your relationship. And this is going to cause you to be experiencing possibly a breakup or someone broke up with you. And now I don't, you have no idea how to move on and your broken heart isn't going to mend and you need to patch things up with your relationship. So look to be making movement if you've made that choice. At this time on the 18th, Venus is pushing you to go and to like, make amends or to see the other person's point of view so that you can fix your relationship. 
Okay, so here comes some more of this energy because January 21st, the sun is moving into your 12th house. This is a very similar energy to the one we were just discussing. The sun and Venus together in the 12th house. The ego must play its part as a servant to the soul. So it's time moving out of me, 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 and what can you do for others? You are ready to dissolve your ego. You are tapping into an unseen realm and finding balance between the personal and the universal, between the conscious and the unconscious, between your ego and between the collective conscious. Look for your imagination to be off the charts at this time as well. Okay, let's pull a card for the sun in the 12th house. So many helicopters going overhead of Hollywood right now. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune card. Okay. This is asking you to look deeper into yourself and to fully realize that you are not alone in the world. There are many ways that you are connected to everyone and to everything. And some of these ways have been very hidden to you before, but they're going to reveal themselves because somehow you're ready to actually see this, to actually understand this, and to actually process this. Some of you who aren't quite ready may be pushed a little to the edge. And you have to get ready, okay? And you're only going to have to deal with as much as you can deal with at this time, okay? But... It's about really understanding the difference between you and the world. How do you fit into the world? What is your place in the world? And who is it that you belong with and belong to? And where is it that you're supposed to be plugging in? And all of this energy is going to be coming to a head at this time. Whew. January 27th, Mars moves into your 10th house of career, public image, and awards. Mars is giving you a drive to better your career situation. You are out looking for a new job while you are performing the duties of your current job. You may be moving to a job that brings more meaning to your life. You will have the need to be seen as powerful, as strong, you're assertive, and you don't want to be subservient. So be careful if you're going to be taking any kind of job where you're going to have to like answer to the boss. Because you want, your, you want control, you want autonomy, and you want to be able to make the decisions of what's coming next. Okay, let's pull a card. For Mars, moving into the 10th house for Pisces. Okay. And we have the strength card. Mars is giving you something that you've needed for a while. And that's the get up and go and energy to put it into your career. And when you do that, there's going to be a really good payback that's coming. And if you're pounding the pavement looking for a new job and while you're still holding down the other job, take heart and hold on because th things are coming to a change and you really just need to stay strong inside yourself while you go through this transition and you didn't have the ability to do this before this is Mars coming in here and giving you the strength and the power and the assertiveness and the will to do this okay January 31st there is a lunar eclipse in Leo happening in your sixth house of relationships, routines, and fitness. This eclipse will focus a spotlight on your health and well-being. It's time to eat more naturally. This is all about getting balanced. You may have something at work that is annoying you. It's time to speak up. When you speak up, this will help initiate and improve your work environment. It'll change the situation through positivity, not finger pointing. Okay, now let's pull a card for the lunar eclipse in the sixth house for Pisces. 
Okay. And we have the Four of Swords. This is a change in you. You are no longer complacent and accepting. It's time for you to put your own personal power and your own personal energy in to speak up. And when you speak up, it's going to initiate that change of work and get rid of that thing that's been bothering you so much. It's really been bothering you. Okay, it's also a time to make that change and to put away the junk food and to start that juice fast or to start that exercise program and to get it into being part a routine of your life, okay? And it's all about getting yourself balanced, balance. And this is a massive change of, this is a massive card of change. Probably even more than the death card. This is a really strong, strong change going on here, okay? Okay, so that was all the major alignments for the month. Now we're going to pull some general cards. And the first card is for your health and your energy. Okay, your health and your energy. Things have reached a tipping point. And your health and your energy have become a little difficult to manage. That's because you've been putting so much junk into your body. And it's overwhelming your system. It's really time that you get a control on this. You have a fair amount of energy, but you may be directing it in too many different areas and too many arenas of your life. You have a lot to handle this month, and you're going to have to keep yourself recharged and ready to handle it all. So make sure that you do stick to those routines that are going to help you stay healthy and balanced. So your health and your energy is all going to be very dependent on your own activity this month. Okay, now let's pull a card for career and money. Okay, the high priestess. It's time for you to get on your high horse and to speak up at the things that don't aren't working for you at work. And maybe it's time to make a complete switch and to move from one job to another. And this will be so that you are actually doing a job where you feel like you are much more of service to others, that you're actually doing something that's meaningful and valuable. And also, this is also about balancing yourself and bringing balance back to you. Your, your money should flow should be similar to the way that it was last month and stay status quo. Even though you are switching from one job to another, you've prepared for this. So there, that's going to stay very balanced. There is no difficulty. The, um, I mean, I guess if you had difficulty in finances last month, it could be the same kind of a thing. But um, the career switch is, is going to bring you peace and balance that you've needed okay now we're gonna pull a card for family love and social okay the knight of wands card it's very important for you to dictate the path that you're taking this month in regards to your family in regards to your relationship in regards to your friendships you may be actively seeking to add more friendships to your life this month. And this is you going out with your own idea, meeting people who are going to have a similar idea. And some of it, some of what you're doing may actually cost you money to join these groups. Um, I would make sure that that's at a minimum so that you're not being taken advantage in some way. And this is also you in dealing with uh, your relationship. Um whatever snafu is coming up in your relationship and how the, this is going to be you coming out of the relationship or handling the problem within the relationship and repairing it. Because even if you do take this time and suffer a broken heart, that is, it. there's a very good chance that the relationship can be mended again if the right thing is done, okay? But it's going to take a little bit of action on your part where you actually hear the other party, okay? Now, let's pull a card for your mind and your spirit. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Spiritually and intellectually, you are very on track. 
you have a high level of imagination, make sure that you're putting that into the right place and your creative juices are, are flowing. You feel things in a new way. You see things in a new way. You hear other people's points of views and you're able to express your own point of view and people actually hear you and take you seriously this month. That is a really great payoff. Okay, well, I want to say thank you so much for joining me this month, Pisces. Uh, if you come, want to come over and subscribe, comment, like, share. I'm going to be have the whole playlist for all 12 signs for January here in the corner. So if you'd like to watch your rising or your moon sign. Um, also, some of you have asked me about private readings, and I'm working on setting up a system for that. So look for that next month. Uh, for now, just enjoy the free videos. Thank you for all the in inquiries. And I will see you next month, Pisces. Amish Buddha Filmworks!